Gidon was saying that I want to get tinkering so I can do weapon mods. Now, if I look at my character, I have no tinkering. And in terms of skill, I only have 40 skill points. I was... You need 19 intelligence. Let me look at myself. Yeah, about that. <laughs> Can I just have somebody apply weapon mods? Is there a vendor that does that for you? Can I throw money at this problem, or is that not a thing? I do have some heat resistance. 30, in fact. I don't have any electrical resist, unfortunately. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I guess not, Gidon. I wish. Alright. Well, anyway. It's a good thought, though. I mean, I would love to have some upgraded stuff like that. Well, this guy has some uh, slippers. You like to see slippers. Now, this just goes down. Let me see if there's anything special down here. This is just called... Jungle and fungus patch, so I'm not going to mess with that. I know it is threatening, isn't it? Like, we have the meats, sounds like, that they've held the meats for ransom, and th then they're going to follow that statement with an ultimatum or, like, some kind of list of demands. It ain't good. We're going to go up. I'm going to go all the way here to this ruin. Yeah, look at all these bookshelves. Oh my god, we found it. It's Shangri-La. Now wait, this isn't... These aren't ruins. This is a town, isn't it? This is a town run by this fish person. Let me see. No, never mind. Not that guy. That guy ain't in charge. Maybe this is not a town. I was like, oh, these are sentient things. Let me see. Now nah, they don't want to talk. Nothing in it. Are you talking? Nah, they ain't talking. All right, never mind. I lied about that. It does look like I've been here already because I've looted it. But, ooh, look at this, like, tribal snout. The two-headed slug sap. Oh, this is a member of the... There's a cult here. Okay. Yeah, it looks like I lo took all of their books years ago. I mean, that's sad. All right, then let's just go up. Let me check this out. This is called... No, it's not even that. It's a historic site? Yeah. Okay. So it, I'm going to take this off my map. All right, we're going for it. I'm going to swing for the fences. And we're going to go all the way up. And try to get rid of these books. I'm not afraid. Oh, we discovered some forgotten ruins. Okay. But these are just regular ruins so there's let's explore the surface see if they have any you know books or anything oh there's a treasure chest let's go check that out uh a camel bladder there's a lot of ways that you could take seeing that and i don't know if any of them are good Looks like there was a statue back there. Let's go check that out. There's a turret we can break. Hey, Desmond. That's a great question, my friend. Boy, I was planning on playing Last Spell, but maybe I should pivot to uh, Dwarf Fortress for tomorrow and do last spell next week instead. 
Alex, what do you think? Would you rather see Last Spell or uh, Dwarf Fortress tomorrow? I can always change it. I get to make the rules, right? Let's let's get this cider. What is this? This is one of those machines. Yeah, it does seem obligatory, doesn't it? <laughs> it's true, Alex. Well, I still got videos rolling out of. I'll just play last spell on my own, and then, uh. All right, Alex, me too. All right, then, let's see if I can get it. I figure it'll be a sea of people streaming Dwarf Fortress tomorrow. Um, you know, so it might be just oversaturation, but I'll do it just for myself. I'm going to be terrible at it. Yeah, okay, Alex. I'm going to have to learn the new controls. Like, I don't know if they made it exactly like the old one. But that's a fun idea. All right, everybody, I'll pivot. I'll make a note on the YouTube channel that we're going to pivot. You guys have convinced me. There's been like four people talking about it. There's a lot of chatter around it. It's an implanted eater. That's a that's the kind of statue I don't like to see. Now, let's see. What is this? This is a... Uh, a becoming nook. I don't know what these ruins are. Alright, weird artifact. Cybernetic sprack. Uh, let's examine it. It's a parabolic muscular subroutine. Boy, that seems good. Is it $30? That seems excessive. But I guess fine, whatever. The controls changed. Okay, fair enough, um, Desmond. Yeah, I mean, like, is it is it supposed to be uh like isometric? Is that right? It's just top down, but doesn't it, it doesn't have any kind of like 3D effects to it? Just better to look at. Okay. I kind of thought it maybe looked like there was a mod for it called Stone Sense that would give you a sort of like you know, Z level kind of almost look at your place, but I don't know if that's uh what they're going for or not. Oh, here's some books. Great. Take these books. Give me the illuminated ones. Yeah. Heck yeah. I hope they have too. Ooh. Masterwork two-handed folded carbide longsword. It's two die six, ten to hit. That actually might be better than what I have. Let me look at this. I'm going to look at my own weapon. Well, that's the music better. They better have the original music as well. Con sound effects is fun. Yeah, vintage control s scheme would be good too. All right, let me see. If I look at my character, I am wearing, in terms of weapon... I have a two-handed carbide longsword, yeah, um, which is one dice 12. So then the one that I just picked up is actually better because it's two dice six and it's 10 accuracy. There we go. Got myself a better weapon. Masterwork, baby. We'll take it. Now I could drop down one of these shoots, but it's just a forgotten ruin, so I don't think it's worth it. All right, well, it feels like I have to do it. It's an event.
I am too famished. All right, fine. Make some camp. No, no, I'm not trying to bind it. Just make a camp. I'm sorry. I pushed the wrong button. Here you go. Whip up that meal. All right, man. My plus 18 hit points. That, those were the days when I used that robot leg. I discover another goat folk village. Oh, man. I love how... That's such a weird thing about the game. Like, it's like you discover the goat folk village. You mark it on your map. And then I go to try to zoom out on the map. And you're like, oh, but you're lost. How can I mark it on my map if I'm lost? Just explain that to me. Yeah, I don't know about that guy then. I don't know if... Or Gidon. I don't know if they changed the adventure mode at all or not. That's a good question. The only song that I really liked, Alex, was just the, the guitar music. Like, the music that would just loop over and over again in Dwarf Fortress. It was like one track, but it was... Great. It was called Strike the Earth, the song. <laughs> I know, Fading. They're like, there used to be this guy who would wander aimlessly, stumbling across village after village of goat folk and murdering every single goat folk he found. It didn't matter if they were a holy person, an elder, whatever it was, he killed us. All right, cool, we leveled up. All right, so we're level 22 now. So at this point, um, we have four mutation points. All right, everybody, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to buy a new mutation. Let's see what we can get. Uh, here, no, no, go down here. Yes. Okay. Unfortunately... Electrical generation is insane. Now, photosynthetic sin is skin isn't horrible. Two heads is not great for me because I'm not mental. The advantage of photosynthetic skin would be that I get to grow a new body part, which could be cool, but it's what you get um, fading if you're a chimera. So I have the Chimera mutation, which means um, every time I get a new mutation, one of them will let me grow a new body part. Um, and so it could be a good one. Like I grew a tail with a stinger once and I got an extra arm, which was amazing. But then another time I got a tail that didn't do anything. that was just vestigial. So it could be really good or it could be kind of like nothing. Um, but it's just a part of the Chimera mutation suite. Um, let's see, electrical generation, you charge up and you could do one dice four per 1,000, so you could do four dice four, and it hits everything, um, it blows up. You can provide charge to equip devices that have integrated power systems. That's pretty hilarious. Nah, Alex, it was... The music that... that I recall, it was just an acoustic guitar. Like, almost like a medieval or... I don't know if it was Gaelic or Scandinavian, but it was just like a, an old kind of dissonant acoustic guitar loop. Yeah, you know, it's interesting, right? Because um, it could help me for Golgotha. Uh, 
photosynthetic skin. Right? Like, I could do this before I go into Golgotha and get that extra healing rate and quickness. And then maybe I get a new, good new body part. So there's that. But with Generation, I get, like, that AoE, like we talked about. And, uh... I also... can drink charge from energy cells to collect a charge. I get charge for electrical damage taken, so if I get zapped for electricity, I get charged up. Um, interesting. Yeah, that's what I was really looking for, was to see that if it would insulate me from electrical damage. I don't think so, fading. I think it just does electrical damage, and then the problem is, if I get hit with an EMP, it causes me to involuntarily discharge my electricity. I gotta tell you what. I've been rolling the dice, and, uh... Hmm... Boy, this is a tough decision. An AoE... Four dice four is not that much. It's okay. But you... Yeah, so this can power devices, which is kind of cool, but the damage isn't a lot. If you want to hit multiple targets, um, it only does one dice four. I know, exception not. Like, the gamble would be to see if I get a new body part that's good. Now, the only body parts that I know of that would be good would be another damaging tail, another arm. Um, an extra leg is not bad, you know, gives you more um, movement speed and carry capacity. Yeah, let's just see if we can get an extra butt. Two butts seems incredible. Um... We got the ability to be called Basque, and we got um, Photosynthetic Sin. We got an achievement called Proteus, and yes, oh my god, look at this. A head grows out of your lower left arm. What does that mean? That might actually be bad. That might mean I can't hold anything in my arm anymore because I have a head there. I didn't think about that, but that's odd. Nick Man, good morning, my friend. Oh god, let me see myself. Lower left arm. Can I wear anything here? Oh, no, it's okay. I wasn't holding anything anyway, but... Uh... Oh, my God. Look at this. Lower left arm head. Lower left arm face. How many times did you wish you had a lower left arm head? I can wear this skull cap, I guess, right? And I can wear another... Like, I can wear spectacles if I wanted. Or a sun veil. Let's just do it. Let's just have a lot of fun here. Alright, here we go. <laughs> Necronth, good evening. Look at my character. Look how big my equipment screen screen is for this mutant that I have. I have... I think I have five arms, two tails, four legs, and a head growing out of an arm. Um, let me look at my character. Now, my intelligence didn't go up. And I don't know if I got any extra new points. But, oh boy. I'll tell you what, though. I'm outside. I'm going to bask in the sun. You bet you. You bask in the sunlight and absorb the nourishing rays. Heck yeah. For the rest of the day, 30% healing and a little bit of quickness. You got that right. Give me that healing. 
I am beautiful. The definition of beauty. Yeah, that would be cool. I don't know if it does or not. It, it, I'll tell you what it does give me, though, is the benefit of uh, just having multiple helmets that I can wear. I don't do any mental actions. No. I'm not a Nesper. Yeah, I don't think it helps me, unfortunately. But I did just have the option to get a second head, and it was that. 20% reduced cost of mental actions or something like that. I don't know. That's a great question. If it, do I think... In most cases that I've seen in this game, it averages it. It doesn't stack the AC for, you know, different limbs. But I do have a nice... I mean, my armor class... My, or my armor value, rather, is 11. It's pretty good. Yeah. Uh, steel boots and chain boots. All right, here. Let me take this guy down. All right, let's go over here. Got our bearings. You betcha. Hostels nearby, huh? Where? You show me the hostels. I don't see any hostels. There we go. Now, where am I? I'm over here? Okay, fine. Let's make a break for it. Oh, no. We got lost, but we're so close. I'm just going to run to the town. I feel good about this. This is going to easily get me to the town. That's a great question, Necronth. I am trying to explore to get experience so I can do Golgotha. I think in one level, I'll be set for Golgotha, or, or at least as much as I can. So I'm just kind of doing that right now. We're going in. All right. Let me talk to this dude, see if I have any news for him. I don't have any secrets. I'm sorry, dude. I wish I had secrets. All right, let's go talk to the book, man. And let's... We have a bunch of books to turn in, so let's see if he wants any of these. I got books, dude. Eight thousand experience. Pretty good. Here, I got this book, too. Four hundred. All right, cool. So, we got about you know, 45% of our experience by turning those books in. And let's see what else we have. I have an implant I probably want to get rid of. So the question is, like, what should I be trying to buy with this character at this point? You know, like, I, I don't even know what exactly I want. I don't know if they sell anything that I want, to be perfectly honest. Yeah, Necronth, you, different books give different experience, but it's a great way. I just do it for experience. I turn in so many books. Like, do I want his weird artifacts? I don't think they would do me any good. You know what I mean? It's a force modulator. It's just an implant. Yeah, he just sells implants. Like, I don't need implants. I... I could go now to Golgotha just and see what happens, you know? Just make a mad dash for it. Let's think about this. What do I want? So, I know that we were talking about... I have yuck wheat and I have honey. So, I think that's all I need to roll in there. 
I could try to buy some more, like, injectors to heal myself with, I guess. They're generally expensive, but maybe. Yeah, where's Bookman? He's got some books. These are so expensive, though. I, I just would feel awful buying books from this guy. Let's see here. Oh, yeah, they got clone people cloning happening left and right around his place. Um, oh, let's see. Are you the, the vendor? Kipper. Look. Uh, wake him up. Can you trade with me? Yeah. So here's what they sell. Congealed salves. Okay. Jerky. Acid. Honey. Fermented yuck wheat stem. Alright, let's we could buy that, sure. You want to trade it for some of this stuff that I have that I don't need? Like this and this. Here you go, buddy. Okay. And do I need anything else from you? Uh, I think I'm okay. All right. The schematics drafter. Yeah, I did talk to him, Gidon, but unfortunately I didn't have anything. He sells data disks, which I assume is maybe for tinkering or something, and I can't do anything with it. Here's another book guy. Uh, jeez. It's just trading books for experience and, or, you know, drams for experience. Doesn't seem worth it. Let's see what this dude... Oh, no, they all went to the fire, didn't they? Uh, let's see if anybody's over here who wants to sell. You got anything good? Not really. 